Hello, I'm Atu Jamir and you're watching News Pulse on Hornbill TV. In what may be considered an indication of change in norms of community leadership in the context of Naga tribal organizations, a woman Rekha Rose Tukru has been inducted in the Chakasang Public Organization, the apex body of the Chakasang Naga tribe. She has reportedly been inducted as a member of the organization's executive council. Community leaderships have generally been a male bastion, especially in the context of Naga cultural norms that used to have only marginal space for women in decision-making institutions. Today we will be talking to Rekha Rose Tukru about the development and her place in the larger intermingling of leadership and community traditions. Besides, what is it means for Naga women in general? So as mentioned, we will be joined by the woman herself, Rekha Rose. To uh, hello, ma'am. Hi, hi, Atul. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us today. And first of all, we would like to congratulate you on the induction. Thank you so much. Yeah. So moving on with this uh, conversation today, we'd want to know uh, how do you feel to be the first woman to be inducted, you know, as a member of the executive council in the CPO? Well, I'm happy to be part of uh, CPO. I, I wasn't aware actually that I would be the first woman to be inducted. It was actually a pleasant surprise for me too, but I'm really happy to be part of CPO. And also, ma'am, do you think uh, your induction, being the first woman, do you think this would bring any changes in the society, especially in the areas of policy, decision-making and industry? Atu, I really hope that there will be change because um, it has started with CPO today. And I really hope that the other uh, tribal apex body also emulate and elect women. You know, I also want to, by saying this, I also want to make it very clear that women should not be elected just for the sake of representing women but because that okay. she's capable and responsible um, and i'm sure that will make a lot of difference right ma'am also uh, to the credentials that uh, you know enable women to be a part of important uh, community organization also indicate that we are ready to be you know ready for positions in decision making in political uh, institutions as well Yes, definitely. You know, we have uh, come a long way. Women have come a long way. I think uh, we have also proved to people, like to our community, that we can also lead, that we are also responsible, that we are also capable. And I'm happy that the fact that today they inducted me in CPO is also an indication that they're also ready, you know, and that women are also ready to be part of the new change. All right, ma'am. Also, uh, we want to know from your point of view, what are the challenges both tangible and perceived that hinders women from finding a place or a position in important uh, leadership positions? Yeah, mm, there are lots of, you know, uh, challenges for women to be a leader. But for me, like, I feel that women representation should start from the grassroots level, you know, when you have women like in the village or in an area or a village level or range level, then uh, they will definitely have representation at a higher level. But since which is, uh, that is very rare, like we don't have, we hardly have women at a village in the village council, uh, in the village council or in the VDB or in our like respective range. Uh, we hardly have any one of them. That's why the representation of women at the apex body is also not there. And because to be part of this, uh, such an apex body, like one needs to have some experience because uh, apex body like this also import, uh, discuss, take up important issues. Yes, also ma'am, according to you, what is the importance of inducting women in such uh, organizations? What is the importance of women participation? See, um, women have to be given a chance to prove themselves that they can also lead and, uh, you know, and that should, like, our biggest strength uh, also come from, should come from men, you know. Like, uh, men should start supporting us. Because at the end of the day, we're like family, we're your sister, we're your mother, your wife, your daughter. And it is only when we're working together that the big change that we really long for will come. And also, as you mentioned earlier about some challenges that we face uh, that hinders us from participating in such organizations, uh, we would also want to know what can the society and also the government do to, uh, you know, uh, to remove these challenges that we are facing. There are so many things. A lot of people have each role to play. Like the government has a role to play. 
the society has role to play. That is why like, I'm saying like there are also a lot of women who want to lead, who want to be a leader, who want to be part of organization like this. But I think we get very less encouragement, you know, from our society. True. And it is important. It is very important also for women to be part of an organization, of an apex body like this, because in such organization, like we plan policies, we take up issues which are very important for everyone, irrespective of like a man, women. So all the section, both men and women, should be part. They should understand each other. They should be together, taking uh, policies and uh, discussing. Um, so uh, when she like women joining. A body like this is like not to you know show or just to prove that she's better than men that to empower the other gender but it was also that when there is a balance when there is like equal representation it is easier like it is easier to take better and wiser decisions right ma'am we could say that we all have different things to offer yes yes all right ma'am thank you so much for joining us today thank you so much Artu. thank, thank you, you.